This is the Ford Fiesta, and it's one of my favorite subcompact cars because, in my opinion, it's a benchmark when it comes to affordably delivering compact sensibility and economy in a package that doesn't feel like an appliance or just plain suck. Fiesta is bigger inside than it looks, more refined than its price suggests, and it benefits from a refreshing dose of upscale character. Plus, since it comes as a hatch, there's room for your stuff like this or maybe one of these fellas, or whatever you like. Up front, plenty of storage space around you to help keep organized on the go. So in a nutshell, it feels like the engineers and designers actually drove and lived with this car to make sure it felt great, and it all comes wrapped in a package that's fun to look at and fun to drive. Of course, there's always room to be more fun to look at and more fun to drive, which is why there's this, the Fiesta ST. That's ST for sport technologies, not the nasty word my French buddies say when they're angry. Lower, tighter, faster, and more powerful than a standard Fiesta, ST targets a more hardcore and sporty shopper with a slew of upgrades that are designed to create an entertaining package. Nothing groundbreaking here if you get these bigger alloy wheels wrapped in thin, sticky tires all surrounding these red brakes. The body gets standard add-ons, bumper kit, side skirt bits, a hatch spoiler, a rear bumper extension, fog lamps, and the like. It has big presence on the road, especially if you get this retina-shattering green paint that's visible from Google Earth. It does make the Fiesta very easy to spot in a parking lot, but I'm not sure what kind of person could love such an obnoxious color. Inside, a few subtle cues are added too. Special ST graphics on the seats and sills and on the steering wheel. These Recaro seats are not subtle. They're tight, heavily bolstered, and a bit of a squeeze for wider folks. But if you like bear hugs, you'll love them. The standard Fiesta gets a 1.6 liter four cylinder, good for decent mileage and a peppy 120 horsepower. In the ST, they've added a turbocharger that makes it 197 and more importantly, 214 pounds of torque. That kind of power in a car this small means it goes like stink. The engine's torque-rich mid-range pull and the meaty growl it pumps into the cabin at full throttle are precursors to an authentic performance driving experience. The steering, for instance, it's very quick, like a go-kart. Tiny steering wheel inputs turn in big changes in direction, translating into a mischievous effortlessness when you get to tossing it around. Plus, you get feel and feedback, a good sense of what's happening between the tires on the road, and a good sense of the system loading up with the ST's weight when you rip some corners. Handling is flat and planted, the ST takes a set after a touch of body roll and then darts around obediently at the direction of the steering. Bounce and rebound are kept to a minimum thanks to the sport suspension, which makes the ST stay stable on its tires even when you really push it. And thanks to torque vectoring, which sees the Fiesta slightly overpower the outer front wheel in a corner when you hammer on it, this car rotates and turns and steers under power like it's even smaller and lighter than it is. The clutch and shifter are also notable. Unlike too many stick shift cars these days, it doesn't feel like it's got shifter linkage made of boiled lettuce and a clutch made of pancake batter. The shifter has a decent throw to it, but it clicks positively into gear, feels robust and not like it's going to break if you rip through the gears like Christmas morning wrapping paper. The clutch is heavy, dense, holds plenty of power for fast off-the-line launches, and has an aggressive narrow engagement point with a strong bite. Those who haven't driven stick in a while may want to brush up, but enthusiasts will love it. Add to that the aggressive and precise feel to the brakes and the sticky sports tires that transmit it all to the road, and you've got a hell of an entertaining machine. Did I mention that the pedals are perfectly spaced for heel and toe shifting? So the underlying feel to this car, because of all that, is one of balance. It's as if all of the different systems have been expertly calibrated against one another. The braking system is just right for the amount of power from the engine. The steering feels expertly matched for the suspension and vice versa. The clutch and shifter add to all of that. So the end result here is that they've created a car with an authentic performance driving experience that you don't often find at this price point. All said, I'm saying this is about the most fun front wheel drive car that I've ever been in. Elsewhere, you get navigation, Bluetooth, single stage heated seats, auto climate control, and a sunroof. Ford Sync lets you use your voice to control almost anything and can even read your text messages out loud to you. The keyless entry and push button start system is another nice touch, and so is the countless fuel filler. And heck, the highway ride is even pretty good too, given the intentions at work here. 
So let's sum up this rascally little rocket hatch. What's hot? Well, you get an authentic performance car experience, authentic performance car seats and styling, and a fantastic engine, brakes, steering, shifter, and clutch. Plus all the flexibility that goes with a five-door hatch and decent ride quality most of the time too. What's not hot? Well, standard hot hatch complaints apply, really. The ride on rough and broken pavement is busy, sharp, and loud, and you've got to watch the paper-thin tires on potholes to prevent damage. The brakes are a little noisy, and inside I wished Fiesta ST had the same modern controls, instruments, and interfaces found in many other Fords. Finally, the small touchscreen and its small buttons were sometimes difficult for my apparently chubby fingers to navigate. Mileage on my watch after 1,412 kilometers of driving split nearly down the middle between city and highway burned a total of 162.3 liters of premium unleaded, which makes it 8.7 liters per 100 clicks. That's right on par with machines like the Mini Cooper S and Volkswagen GTI for where and how I drive. So because it's flexible, fast, very fun and feels throughout like the engineers put in the overtime to create a truly authentic performance car experience, I'm calling this one a compact performance car priority test drive, pricing from 24.5.